This is the Neon Landing, an integrated resort that would become the newest development within the entertainment city of Manila Bay. It is also one of the most expensive projects within the reclaimed land, as it boasts an estimated cost of over $1.5 billion. A massive budget like this will absolutely make itself a piece that would be noble enough to be placed in the entertainment city of Manila, as it is composed of the greatest structures the country has. Neon Landing's architectural design is said to symbolize the rich culture and heritage of the Philippines. It will have an indoor cultural theme park and a water park. It would imply that the entertainment given by Neon Landing would showcase the unique factors that foreigners wouldn't normally see. The best highlight of this project, however, isn't its artistic-themed entities, but rather, it would have Asia's first and largest indoor movie-based theme park, a considerably grand move to make the country more known to the world. This is also a valuable idea, as the entertainment city is quite recognized to be filled with casinos or just typically targeted to adults. But now that something like this has come to light, it would be time to see the place be an attraction for the younger people as well. Theme parks are not the only one that would symbolize the culture, but it would likewise include the different food, languages, iconic futures, and so on. It was reported that they will showcase miniature and actual models of various Philippines destinations. That would mean we may see a mini Bohol or a mini Boracay Kay inside this development. Quite an exciting feat indeed. To make sure that this will really live up to its expectations, they are also planning to have province-speaking resort staff, a chance for making job opportunities rise within the provincial places. The contractors of this scheme are an entity coming from Hong Kong, called the Landing International Development Corporation. While they're based in Hong Kong, most of their projects reside mostly in South Korea. They are the ones behind Jeju Shinwa World, a world-renowned hotel and resort, as it comprises two of the most luxurious accommodation brands, which are Marriott Resorts and Four Seasons Resorts. Rest assured with this project, as according to its executives, they will at least 80% of its employees directly from the local people, where an estimate of over 10,000 jobs are to be created, meaning that 8,000 of those would come locally, boosting the unemployment rate of the country. They are also predicting that this scheme alone would attract 3 million foreign tourists annually, yet another massive move from the contractors. Although, the only thing that's troubling this mega project, apart, is its controversies in the past few years, after the President of the Philippines dismissed the entire plan and canceled the lease agreement given to the contractors, and even sacked the whole Nayong Filipino team, after several irregularities. And too much surprise, this happened just the day the whole landing broke ground. While it's been ruled out, the project hasn't really stopped fully. The Landing Corporation is still keen and is going to find a place where they can build this. They have just recently in August 2020 have requested an extension from the government in finding unused land inside the entertainment city. Anyway, what do you think about Neon Landing? Share with us your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to leave us a like and follow us for more amazing videos. Thanks for watching.